Hello Excelers and welcome. Thanks for joining me today for another how to excel at excel.com Excel tip video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button below to get notified when there's a new Excel tip available here on my YouTube channel. And if you want to sign up for the how to excel at excel newsletter, which gives you three free Excel tips every month direct to your inbox. There's a link below in the description box there. Uh, and when you sign up, you'll get my free ebook, which has got my top 30 Excel tips. Okay, let's get started on today's Excel tip. Hi guys, welcome back for another Excel video. Today I'm going to show you how to calculate only some of your worksheet formulas. That is, if you have a really large spreadsheet or workbook and you just want to test some new formulas, you only want to update a couple of cells, you don't have to recalculate the whole data set or the whole workbook. There's a really great way to just calculate some individual cells that you might be testing or just updating to see, see how the formulas work. And that's what I'm going to walk you through today. So let's use an example data set. Now this is a really small data set as you can see. But the theory is exactly the same. I've got some sales volume, some pre-tax values, tax payable, and then the total value, which is the pre-tax plus the tax payable. Our tax rate is currently sitting at 25%. So let's have a look at calculating only some of our formulas. First thing we need to do is switch to manual calculations. So this stops Excel updating automatically. We have to manually prompt the worksheet to update. So let's just go into File, Options, Formulas, and in the Calculation Options, you can click Manual and then hit OK. So this has now stopped any automatic calculations happening in our workbook and no matter how many cells you change, the formulas won't refresh. So with, this is where this little Excel hack comes into play. So did you know that if you press F2 and enter on a cell, that single cell recalculates? So if you press F2, this forces a single cell to calculate. So this means that we can calculate specific cells in our worksheet. So that's interesting. So what if we combine this with a way of selecting specific cells? So we could, in theory, select some specific cells and only recalculate those because we can refresh, we can recalculate individual cells. So let's try and only recalculate me, which is the tax payable. So let's change the tax rate to 12%. Now you can see that nothing has happened because we're on, ma we're on manual calculations. So let's hit up the find and replace in our range that's selected. And let's replace that with an equal sign as well. Let's go into Options and let's look in Formulas. Now we don't want to match the kit, match the entire cell contents. We're only looking for the equal sign. Now all we need to do is replace all. And you can see that my Excel has only updated our selected cells and it's only made four changes. It hasn't updated the total value because we're still on manual calculations. So that's it. That's how you recalculate only some of your worksheet formulas if you have a really large worksheet. You switch to manual calculations, select your cells you want to recalculate, use find and replace, look for the equal sign, Replace it with the equal sign, look in formulas, 
and make sure that you are not matching the entire cell contents. Hit replace all and only your selected cells will be updated. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button so you know when I've uploaded a new Excel video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.